Alright guys, it's time now for a spooky scary playthrough of a spooky scary ROM hack. It is apparently not at all based off of the Pokemon Blood Red Creeper bosses that I read. This is entirely different. Um, so yeah, this is Pokemon Blood Red again, but, but, but different. Let's just see how this goes. Uh, okay. We're, we're, we're probably fine. The text doesn't come in clear. Low light and the volume turned up? Yeah, I'm gonna go with no. I can hear it just fine. Maybe you can't, but uh, in the case there's jump scares, I don't want to freak y'all out either. I know it's October, but and nobody, nobody wants nobody jump scares, okay? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, so C is confirm a choice. X is used to exit. Z is hold down. Well, and then registered key items F5 randomly. Okay. Why is Pikachu decapitated? <laughs> You were about to enter a world where you embark on a grand adventure of your very own. I feel like I need context for the Pikachu! New paths will open to you. Help people in need overcome challenges and solve mysteries. At times you will be challenged by others to a battle. At other times, wild creatures may stand in your way. By overcoming such hurdles, you will gain great power. However, your adventure is not solely based on becoming powerful. On your travels, we hope you will meet countless people and through them, achieve personal growth. This is the most important thing on this adventure. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak, but people usually call me the Pokemon Professor. The world is filled with... <laughs> this world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon. Some battle them with them. We don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Hello, are you a boy or a girl? We usually go with female avatar, but I'll pick boy for this. Now, what did you say your name was? Uh, oh, there we go. Let's see. So you're p um no. What is your name? What the hell? Oh, shit. Cur Cursed one. I mean, that's not wrong. I guess we'll stick with that since I feel like it's gonna it's gonna give me a creepy pasta name no matter what I do. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. Well, we'll try one more time. Yeah, there's like three buttons that you get used in this game, which is weird to me, so it's throwing me off a little bit. Oops. See, I did it again. See, there we go. Alright. Let's see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were toddlers. And um, what was his name again? Perger. Uh, sure, we'll just leave it alone. No. We'll, we'll change it. We'll, we'll try. We'll try something. Uh, he's back. Do, do. This is what I always do. <laughs> it left him alone. Cursed one, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Hello, 
Hello, Cursed One. I don't know why I named you this. Professor Oak wants to see you. Oh, sup. Okay, then, like usual, I have to go and step into the grass. I should have assumed that, but, you know. Wait, don't go! Careful there, wild Pokemon live in tall grass! It's dangerous to go alone, you need a Pokemon partner! Follow me. Da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da-da. Well, come on in! How'd you get in front of me? Dick, let me think. All right, I asked you to come here. Hold on. Here, cursed one. On this table are three Pokemon. Oh, right. They are inside of the Pokeballs. When I was your age, I used to be a great Pokemon trainer. But now I have three left. I'll give you one. Which one do you want? Boy, Gramps, what about me? Calm down, Dick. I'm giving you one, too. That's Bulbasaur. Uh, no, that's Squirtle. We usually go with Squirtle, so we'll go with Squirtle. Yes, I will name him uh, Tide. Okay. Try out our Pokemon. So far, other than the first initial problem with the name. That was a weird sound. Whatever. Go victim! What? That's not what I named him! Okay! Fight. Tackle. Just smack each other, I guess. It's usually how this fight goes, anyway. Uh, bag, Pokemon, nothing. Nothing unusual. I get faster than me. Oh, we have the same speed, that's what's going on, so it's just getting lucky. I use tackle. Gotcha! Bulbasaur fainted! Victim gained 68 experience points. Level 6. The jittery you're seeing is actually the game. It's just it's not running smoothly because it's not a it's not actually a ROM. It's not even really a hack. It's like its own game, so it's yeah. Smell you later. Okay, uh, let's uh check our Pokemon. He healed up. Why his name changed to Victim? I don't know, but I'm sure the game will tell me. It's a Pidgey. Nothing weird about that. Pidgey, yeah, I don't have any Pokeballs, to my knowledge. I probably should have checked, but, you know. I mean, so far, uh, nothing too weird has happened yet. I feel like that will change, inevitably. Hooray! Thank you for healing my Pokemon! I'm so happy with that! Let's carry on, shall we? Hope nothing awful happens. Uh... Don't go to the forest, it's very dangerous! I don't even think about getting that egg from the Pokemart! Okay, so I guess I'm gonna get the egg from the Pokemart! <laughs> oh, you! Come over here for a minute! from Palatel. My son found this egg while exploring Gritty Forest. Okay, I guess I'll take the mis... Do 
mysterious egg with the creepy music. And we'll just take it back to Professor Oak. Oh, because I'm a good Pokemon trainer. I'm a nice guy. I, I... Egg seems to be moving. Oh, good. We'll uh, jump through here. Avoid the tall grass for now. Hippity hoppity. Everything's great in this happy egg is still moving. Egg will not let you through. How is the egg keeping me from Okay? I guess I'll walk back because I can't take it to Professor Oak. That's uh well Pokemon I assume yeah, it's just Rotana, okay. We're just training like normal, even though so far don't, things don't seem to be very normal. But hey, normal. Everything's guys. Everything's fine. Why are you y'all all freaking out? Everybody's all scared. The haunted game. Something crazy is gonna happen. So spooky. PC and victim even learn bubble. I still can't get over this. His name. Uh. <laughs> Off we go, then. <laughs> now, my guess at this point is that I can't take it back to Professor Oak, and I feel like I probably still can't go to Viridian Forest, that I might actually have to hatch this egg by just walking around, which is going to be a little dull, but you know, I don't think I'm going to have any other options. Bubble. Speed fell. Nice. Quick attack. Please. Doesn't care about speed. Good move by the wild Rattata there. Quick attack again. Gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Which is fine. I'm almost there anyway. Da 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 da. Da da da. Papa, restore your type. I went to full health. Like to rest your Pokemon? I would love to do that. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. All right, that's uh, the heck with it. Let's go to see if we can go to the forest. Ah, we can. I guess that's where we're going then. You know, the game did encourage me to. It seems to be moving, but hold on. The game did say to talk to people. That's not what I meant to do. Careful. Nobody dares go there. Okay, so nothing seems unusual with these two anyway. Radiant Forest always had kind of creepy music. Nobody's going here because of the egg. There's an item there that I want. I found a potion. I guess it's logical they removed all the trainers since... Oh, no. There's a freaking bug catcher here. Can't stop getting poisoned. I'm trying to heal another. I don't have any money left. Cursed egg? What are you doing with it? And why aren't you getting hurt? Oh. The question is, why are you here? Okay. You could, you could have clarified what the cursed egg is before attacking me, bro, but... Gotta play it that way, I guess I don't have a choice. Beat up your Caterpie. My horrible bubble moves, this is gonna take forever. Oh, crit me with a tackle, who does that?
There we go. I critted you with a bubble. How does it feel to take a critical bubble? Alright, Caterpie's down. Victim leveled up. Metapod. Oh, I'm real scared of the Metapod. I wonder if this Metapod will know a move besides Heart. So far, I don't think so. Maybe it'll try to hit me in the face. Or it'll use Harden again. Whatever works for you. Harden! Harden! Metapod! Harden! Oh, I created. <laughs> that was unnecessary, but oh well. Leveled up to level 9. Nice. You bug your Dominic. No! Oh, you, you must be a ghost! Okay, well, why are you even here if it's so creepy here? I guess it's my quest. Paralyze heal. Guess we'll just keep going. Another bug catcher here. Wait, uh, before we do that, that's, uh... Here's my menu list. There it is. Let's use a uh, potion on uh, victim since he's... And I guess we'll take on this bug catcher. You're pretty brave coming up here. I don't feel anything weird in here. And I see you're carrying the egg. Good for you. Wow, this, this bug catcher is just edgy. Sammy the Edgelord is just like, yeah, carry around that cursed artifact. I don't even care. I think it's pretty brave. Alright. Battle this Weedle, Poison Sting. I don't actually have a Poison Heal, so that's a problem. But, I mean, there's not much of an option, so we'll just keep going. Hope for the best. down. Yeah, I see the problem with the poison. Oh, no, not a Kakuna. Oh, the inhumanity. Bubble. Stop poisoning me. It's rude. I don't really have an answer to that, but I guess it's a good thing I gave... I, I healed before this battle. I should be... I think I'll be able to at least defeat this Kakuna. If the game has passive damage from poison, like a game of this era would, um, I'm probably in trouble. But we'll see how it goes. Alright. Defeated, despite the poison. And I leveled up. I learned withdraw. Get a bucket. No wonder you managed to get here. You're good. Subject has defeated test. What does that even mean? Oh, yep, my screen's flashing. Looks like I, I, I probably I'm not gonna walk all the way back. Yeah. Yeah, not so. All right, now that we dealt with that nonsense, let's carry on, shall we? As if nothing weird was happening. So Subject has defeated Tess. That's kind of odd thing for him to have said, just to clarify, you know. Yeah, you know, it doesn't bother me too much, I guess. But let's just keep going. You know, let's just let's just walk. As if nothing suspicious were happening. I guess we'll head up here. No, this is the other way. I don't I wanna get through the forest as quickly as possible. I don't like it. Oh shoot. Oh no, we're not getting poisoned again, Weedle. I'm not playing that game. Nobody got time for that. Logically, assuming I face Brock next, you know, as if if this is going to proceed normally, which 
probably won't. Uh, I'm not too worried about being at a level disadvantage because my type advantage is really strong. Um, especially if he plays it like regular Brock does, which is just to bide like a moron. Uh, but we'll see what happens in any event. Uh, I'll probably wind up.